Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. One of my subscribers wanted to know how to barricade your safe house. So in this video I will teach you how to barricade your safe house effectively and defend yourself from the horde. It depends what kind of safe house you have, but first of all, windows. How many is good? Well, always pick a building that you know you will have enough supplies to barricade them all. So if you only have a few planks and a few nails, pick a smaller house. If you do have an axe, saw, boxes of nails and a hammer, then why not? Pick a larger building like a rich house or a retail building. Less windows you have, the more zombies you're gonna group up on one and get in quickly. So the point is, you spread the zombies on multiple barricaded windows so they take less damage at once. This will give you more time to respond. What about exits? Always aim for a multiple exit building, two to three exits. These are doors and garage doors. If the door is facing a safe side and won't get attacked, then use it as an entry point. But if your safe house is at a dangerous spot, you will probably have to barricade the front door, or the door that will probably get attacked. Don't forget that you can also barricade garage doors if you think they might get attacked first. Barricade them too. What about wooden walls? Well, wooden walls can also be used. I like to split streets with walls sometimes so hordes don't migrate to areas which I want to keep safe. You can also use walls to barricade door frames or build them around windows for extra protection. So for barricades, what materials should you use? Usually I use planks and put metal sheets on windows that are most dangerous. As I said in my 15 more tips video, plank has 10 hit points each, while metal sheet has 100. You can also use metal bars if you want to see through the window, but want to keep it well protected. Metal bars also have 100 hit points. For walls, I never use metal, because it's just simply too expensive skill-wise. You can just use wooden walls, which work well enough. Okay, but what about furniture? Should you use furniture to barricade and close off entry points? You could. Use bookshelves, crates, desks, sofas, anything you can find or build. I like to use boxes and winding machines to close off hallways, especially in schools. But don't prioritize furniture. It's always better to have normal barricades, such as planks and metal. Normal barricades are more reliable, and you will not have furniture every time. Now I will show you three different buildings and how I barricaded them to give you some examples. Okay, this house is a normal two entry point house. Uh, I put metal bars at the end over here and covered it with a sheet so I can see if there's any zombies coming from the side because that's where the town is at, at the back. And everything else is just normal planks and it's a, you know, basic house, medium supplies. On to the next one. This is a rich house that I used. I barricaded a front door. Uh, you have two entry points in the back and I left the garage door as well uh, for the car but you can leave it on the street as well but I like to leave it unbarricaded just in case because there's another door in there. Everything else is just planks and nothing too complicated. Now this here is a warehouse at Riverside, I barricaded the back entrance with metal and the side entrance as well. Uh, I left the garage doors unbarricaded for the cars if you want to fix them inside and keep them there. Uh, at the front entrance I barricaded only one door and put metal sheets on the two windows over there. Uh, in the middle I didn't put any barricades but you can if you're worried that the zombies might actually get in. Um, it takes a bit more materials for this one, but it's a warehouse after all. Now it's the time for the tip of the video. Master beds, the big ones, give the most planks, the most nails and the most experience when you disassemble them. That would be it for this video, I hope you learned something new. I know my voice is not that good. Even though I'm using a bad recorder, I'm sick as well, and I had trouble filming all of this. But as you can see, I always try and do my best. I, I read the comments, I always 
post what you guys want to see, what you guys need help with, because my primary point is teaching you to play this game, because it can be really hard for new players as well, so feel free to type in the comments what you want to see next, and I will try to um, fulfill all your requests on, you know, topics that seem really interesting. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one.